Hey you guys, it's Jessica. My username is Jessica Expanded, and today is Saturday, June 11th, 2016, and this is like take number 575 of this video because I haven't done one in so long and I keep stopping. So whatever I say on this cut goes into my video whether it makes sense or not. <laughs> so here it goes. Um, I'm a lap band patient. I was banded in August 2012, um, so almost four years now. And I, um, that first year I lost, I was banded at 198. Um, that first year I got down to 164, 162, so about 35 pounds. Um, and then the second year I just like maintained I um, I was up five pounds down five pounds same same range the whole time um, and looking back I would give anything to be 162 pounds again but um, you know I was pretty frustrated at the time I had a major surgery and I felt like I was really trying very hard all the time um, but so I thought I should have lost more or should you know should have been less but looking back I was happy I was wearing the clothes I wanted to wear I had a lot of energy I felt good I you know I had a great life I had a great boyfriend at the time who's now my husband um, I was happy and I wasn't uncomfortable all all the time like I am now um so anyway so first year I lost second year I maintained then I got really sick um in 2014 um I had pancreatitis um so I was hospitalized for a week um and then like for four months I was just really sick all the time I was in a lot of pain and eating um any kind of meat really hurt my pancreas any any kind of healthy fat any fat at all hurt my pancreas um, so I ended up just eating a lot of carbs a lot of bread a lot of pasta a lot of like low fat like chip not chips because chips aren't low fat but like um, pretzels or you know things that didn't have fat in them but a lot of carbs so I ate that I got totally off track and I couldn't go to the gym. I was just sick and couldn't do much. And I kind of lost a lot of momentum. Um, then as soon as I started feeling better, I had to have my gallbladder taken out because that's what caused the pancreatitis. Um, that threw me off again. So that like whole year was just a bust. Um, I had... Uh, I had maintained the weight because I wasn't eating very much, but I got thrown off of my habits. I got like caught up in, you know, not working out, caught up in eating all this food that, you know, really wasn't nutritionally satisfying to me. Um, and then at the, at the beginning of 2015, um, when I started going back to work, I gained like 40 pounds in like four months like so quick everything I lost like I gained back um, and I was pretty miserable and um, it just kind of gets out of hand out of hand and you know you, it's, it's just so hard and um, the band was giving me problems you know at any time I tried to eat any kind of meat or protein besides a protein shake it would get stuck and you know every day was so different that it was like a complete like mind F like it just was so hard to deal with and I had been in pain for so long because of the pancreatitis that I think I had some kind of like trauma I don't want to say like post-traumatic stress but like some kind of like issue where I had been in pain for so long that it's like anytime I ate something that caused me pain I just didn't want to deal with it like 
So I ended up eating like tons of slider foods, just anything that, and like drinking wine because it made me feel better and like just a lot of stuff that I was doing that I was like, if I can eat it and I'm not in pain, that's good with me. And um, it didn't matter my weight. It didn't matter like what was good for me. It just was like, okay, I can eat this and not be in pain. Good. That's great. So I got a, that, this past year, 2015, 2016, I've been struggling so much, and um, I still have that. Like, the, the band did something weird to me. Like, I have a worse relationship with food now than I ever did before I was banded. Um, yeah, and then in 2015, right before my wedding, I went to this weight loss camp, um, which was awesome. I took eight weeks off of work. I went, I took time for myself. I exercised every day. They made me my food. Like everything was great. Lost 20 pounds, came back, had my wedding, gained it all back. It, it wasn't realistic, you know, and, um, I, I'm not here to like make excuses for why I gained back all the weight. I'm just here to tell you, like, my experience with it. And looking back, the band was like, I hate to say I regret anything in life. I've made horrible decisions in my life, and I can look back at them and say, that was a learning experience. But, like, the band, like, I really wish I had never done it. Um, which is sad. It's sad to say that. It's like, and it, it's like almost like accepting defeat or something. I don't know. Because I was so sure of myself um, before. So, anyway, with that being said, I want the band out. I don't, it, I just want it out. I'm done. I'm done with that. And my, I went to talk to my surgeon. I'm not the one that did the lap band. Um, a surgeon at UCSF. He's the same one that did my gallbladder surgery. Um, and he said with like all the heartburn I'm having, everything's like all messed up, all the pain. He said that, um, insurance would cover me to get the lap band taken out, but he really thinks that I should have a revision surgery. And he recommended the gastric bypass. And that is something that I don't feel comfortable doing for myself. Um, and, um, so then he was talking about the sleeve and he said that that's really good. Um, people who have the band who get revised to the sleeve seem a lot happier. And then I started watching YouTube videos and people do seem so much happier without the band. I know YouTube is a kind of weird place because if someone's not happy, they kind of fall off the face of YouTube, um, which I've done before. Um, so you seem to find a lot of happy videos and not so many negative videos. But still, with that being said, it's, you know, I've seen a lot of people have a lot of success with the revision. Um, and I would really like to have that surgery done. And I feel like that is a tool that's better suited for me. Um, I feel like from what I am researching that it's so different than the lap band that it would be starting over. Um, I'm in a much better place um, now, now. I was in a good place when I had the lap band done. That's why I had success, success with it. Um, but I feel like if I'm able to eat things and actually feel full and not like I'm going to like throw up every two seconds, that's a much better lifestyle I am I would rather be living um, than what I am living right now. So um, I've been in the process of getting my insurance to cover that. So I've had multiple barium swallows, 
um, they keep wanting me to come back because they do find that my acid reflux is really bad. Um, I have to go in for an um, endoscopy this week, which I'm not looking forward to. I have to, I have my nutrition consult planned. I have my um, psych consult planned. I have, um, I did my EKG, so I'm like pretty much all set to go. Um, I just have to send it all in, um, and then they'll schedule my surgery, and I'm hoping for, you know, uh, November, maybe early December, um, and yeah, I mean, this is a long process, and I have gone back and forth for different reasons. Um, part of me is scared that I'm going to fail again. Um, part of me is scared of the pain because I am so over the hospital. I'm over all of that. Part of me um, really wants to get pregnant soon. And um, I've talked to my husband about it. And, you know, our plan was to get pregnant this year. And, um, but ultimately my health is the priority. And if that means putting off baby for a year, year and a half, um, that's, that is what it is. And it's a good incentive. I think about being pregnant now, like if I put 30 more pounds on my body, I don't think I'd be able to move. Like I'm already hobbling around on a bad knee and like, 27 years old like who like why am I feeling this way it's so frustrating and thinking about like being pregnant having like a little life sucking the life out of you and like being fatter than I am I don't like that word I don't like the word fat I'm sorry I used that being bigger than I am now and it just scares me I don't I don't want that I would rather be healthier, smaller, more in shape, then get pregnant. Um, so that was another thing we talked about. And, and then financially, it's really hard. Um, the first time I did the lap band, I paid out of pocket. Total waste of money. I don't know why I did that. That was a horrible decision on my part. But this time, insurance will cover it, but I'm also a per diem employee. Um, and I make half of our income. So being off of work for a month, it would be really hard on us. Um, but ultimately, I think that that's the best decision for us, for me, for us. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see how this all goes. Um, I want to start making videos more often. I've been watching you guys. Um, I've been watching a lot of revision surgery videos, whether it's to gastric bypass or to the sleeve. And it really inspires me. It makes me feel a lot better. It makes me feel not alone. Um, it makes me feel like all of these things that I'm saying, I feel like someone out there understands what I'm talking about. Because Sometimes I feel like I'm alone on an island, like crazy, crazy island, like losing my mind. And when I come and I watch your videos, I'm like, okay, good. Like someone else knows what this is like and um, it, it really helps. So I'm going to surround myself with positive energy, uh, educate myself as much as I can, prepare myself as much as I can. And, um, yeah, and just stay calm <laughs> and try to live a healthy life, and that's it. So, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you very soon.